In this guitar related video, I'm gonna show you, actually this one's by request, how to play the E and the E minor chord, some of the tougher chords here on the guitar lady. Hi, I'm Terry. Welcome to You Collect the Pros. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you can stay up to date with all the lessons, tutorials, reviews, ukulele, guitar lele, everything I do right here on my channel. So this one is by request. Someone had asked, how do you play the E chord? And also the E minor chord. And these are tough chords. The E minor is not as tough as the E, which is one of the toughest chords here on the guitar lady and also a very tough chord on the ukulele as well. So I'm gonna give you a few tips on how I do it. Let me just play a little something first. So why don't we start with the E minor chord because that one's a little bit easier and then we'll do the E major chord. Now, one reason why both of these are tough is because they're both bar chords and bar chords are just tough in general, but also they're tough because both of them have the root here on the fifth string, which is this E note right here on the fifth string, second fret. And I think bar chords on the fifth string, especially the major one, is harder than bar chords that are up on the sixth string. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So all I'm doing for this one is I'm barring, so I'm taking my first finger and I'm barring all five strings here. One, two, three, four, five. Now I don't bar the sixth string. Some people do, I, I don't. I just bar here one through five. It was my second finger here on the second string, third fret. And then my third finger on the fourth string, fourth fret, with my pinky right underneath on the third string, fourth fret. And then I got this and I avoid playing the sixth string. Now that is easier said or shown than done. And so a lot of times when you try to play your bar chord, you get this sound. This kind of, some notes are clear and some aren't that clear. So let me help you out here. First of all, with your finger, your bar here, you wanna make sure that you're parallel to the fret. And you don't wanna be off to the side here or even this way, you wanna be parallel, so straight up and down. Also with your first finger, you wanna be right up next to the fret, not back behind it and not on top of it, but right up next to it, because that's the easiest to press down. Also, you have to check out your hand here. I see some people do this. They're trying to do this, and notice where my elbow is. It's really, it's up against my body, and it put my hand in a weird position. All right, and your elbow, it shouldn't be too far out either. So I just, it's almost like it's, your hands just kind of sitting here naturally, and then you put the bar up. All right, and so then when you do the whole thing, a couple tricks here to help you determine if you're getting all the notes right is do an arpeggio. So just simply hit each string to see how it's coming out. If it's not coming out, meaning you're getting this sound, this thud sound, it means two things. One, you're maybe not pressing down hard enough. And that can be tough because these bar chords do require a little bit more pressure than just your regular open position chord. So you might not be pressing down hard enough. Two, one of your other fingers, so let's just take, for example, the third string here, right? If, if my third finger here droops down, if it droops down a little bit like this and accidentally even just barely touches this third string is going to cause it to mute out. So you have to make sure that you're playing right on your fingertips here, and not so much on this part of your finger, the pad, but more right on the fingertip. Not so much on the bar, the bar, you, you obviously have to play on this part, but the other fingers, you wanna make sure you're playing on your fingertips, and by doing that, you also have nice rounded knuckles. And then you get... Okay, you get that nice sound. Okay, and that might take a little bit of practice. So that's the E minor chord. Let's talk about the E major chord. I'm gonna give you a couple different fingerings because some of the traditional ones you see don't really work for me and they may not work for you as well. So here's the E minor chord. And check this out, I'm even gonna have trouble playing it. So even I have trouble playing this chord 
because of my fingers. I just don't have skinny enough fingers. So traditionally, the way you see it is barring here, same thing as before, all five strings. And then a lot of books or chord charts will say, use your second finger here on the fourth string, fourth fret, your third finger or your ring finger on the third string, fourth fret, and your pinky right underneath on the second string, fourth fret, because this first finger here has got to cover the fifth string and also the first string. And then you play it like that. But the problem is for me is I can't get all three of these fingers in the fret. The fret is just not wide enough to squeeze all my fingers in. So here's what I do. It's cheating a little bit, but it works for me. All right, so what I do here is, is that I bar it here and then a lot of times either with my third finger, yeah, not really with my pinky, but usually my third finger, I'll just bar the four, three, and two. And then in, I also end up barring the first string as well. But when I strum, I just don't play that first string. Now that's a little bit of tough to do. But if you have enough control with your strumming hand, you should be able to do it. All right, now some people have this third finger can bend really, really strange, and they're able to bar these strings four, three, and two, and bend it where then you don't, you can still have the first string covered with your bar. Now I can't really do that. Like my, some people can like literally make their finger bend right here, so that's that's tough for me. But if you can do that, because you do want to try to get that first string in if you can, but as I mentioned, it's tough for me to do it, especially on this guitar later, which has a little bit more narrow frets than let's say a guitar does, okay? But trust me, this is a tough chord for a lot of people. So not just you, and it's really, you know, just because of the fingering is so awkward here on the guitar lately, and also, as I mentioned, to ukulele. So this is the way I do it. It's kind of a bar, it's kind of a, a cheating just a little bit. And the reason why you don't want to hit this first string with your bar, it's not that it sounds bad, it actually sounds kind of cool, but you end up having not just an E major chord, it's like a sixth chord that you're you're doing, which is a cool chord. Whoops. There you go. It's a cool sounding chord, but not really the same as playing your regular E chord. All right, so there's your E major, your E minor bar chord here on a guitar lele. I hope that helps a little bit. You pulled a little bit of tip or trick that's gonna help you play those chords. Um, but yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time.